Hi there. Today we're gonna take a look at what uh, a network, a, com a computer network actually is. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but I haven't made a lot of videos in the past about two years. And that's because I've been uh, studying computer networks at uh, a city nearby. Let's just keep it at that. And uh, I found it uh, quite interesting actually. So today uh, I plan on starting a series where I'm going to go over a few basic things in computer networking and what a router is, what a switch is and whatever. But let's just uh, start. So what is a computer network? Well a computer network is it's essentially a IP address range uh, which well that's basically all there is there are devices uh, connected to a computer network a network is um, a computer network is a set of IP addresses I'd, I'd like to put it at that and you then have the internet which is, which is a network of networks so yeah but a network is well you're most likely to have come across this one let's just zoom in a little so you can see 192.168.1.1 is probably your router or it could be 0.1 and well that's not all of it you probably come across this as well 255.255.255.0 what does it, these figures actually mean well I can tell you right now it means that this can be from 1 up to 254 uh, well yeah 254 every one of those addresses can be used by a client uh, a PC, a, a tablet, and telephone, whatever but how the router actually looks at this is pretty interesting because if you to take this uh, and convert it into uh, bytes, you get 8 ones that's the equivalent of 255. So that's supposed to be 8, I think. Um, yeah, selection 8. So you got this pattern. Well, that's one too many. Nope. You get this pattern. And, well, that in itself isn't very interesting. But what this tells, this is the subnet mask this is the network address what this tells is it tells the router which bits to actually care about because the actual delivery from uh, inside a network isn't actually IP address to IP address it's MAC address to MAC address but that that's a completely different story if we then take this and convert it into a byte representation, we will get something like. Um, well, hang on now. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, I'll be right back. This is what you actually get out of it. This is the same as 192.168.1.1 this is the same as that let's just make this a little smaller yeah. and move this down below nice now if we compare these two you will see that there's a lot of ones here and zeros here and I told you once before uh, earlier that this can be from 1 to 254 and if I then tell you that if I do 
this. 192.168.1.1 but I make the subnet mask like that then this can be some from 0 to 254 and this one from 1 to 254 sorry what this subnet mask do is tell the router that okay you only need to care about these bits as long as these bits match the IP address that is set on an interface you can actually go ahead and root it there because that's the appropriate network uh, I know that's probably a little confusing but if we take another address uh, let's say we take uh, dot three that's that's like that it's still only gonna care about this bit the router it won't actually deliver anything to the host itself but it will return it to a switch which in turn will look at who has this specific IP address um, I don't really know how to explain it any better than that but I hope you realized something um, this subnet mask only determines how many devices or hosts there can be in a specific network uh, so for example uh, this uh, network oh, is a pretty common one it can hold a lot of U devices because it has uh, it only cares about about the first eight bits um, so that's basically how it works so if a let's say that this is router let's make it first let's take that and let's make it red so if a packet enters here and it's let's say it's supposed to be it comes from uh, this is supposed to be th a 3 let's make this a yeah well uh, it comes from this and it needs to go to this address well, it goes in here and the router looks okay so you are coming from this network and you want to go to this network well I'm just gonna send you back to the same switch because that's basically what it is and it's just going to return out to here where there is a switch well that's horrible isn't it and that in turn will handle the delivery uh, to each host but let's say you want to go to the Google DNS server. Uh, that's the Google DNS server is 8.8.8.8. And let's make, let's see here. You got 1, 2, 4, and then the 8th. And then you got like that. Nope, one more. I believe. Oh, apparently one more. So you got one, two, four, eight. That's uh, the binary representation of eight. Let's say you want to go to this. The router will look. Okay, you're coming from this network. I want to go to this network. Well, that won't work because these bits here and these bits don't work they're not identical so it will uh, then often have a default route uh, if we go in here and take a look at my computer for example you can see here default gateway uh, or default route however you want to pronounce it 
that's an IP address that you send stuff to that you don't have a clue where it's supposed to go and the router in your home has one out to the internet and let's make the internet a cloud so that's basic routing in a few minutes I hope you've understand understood something but if you have any questions please leave them if you have any suggestions please leave them leave them as well um, if you have anything I'll, you want me to uh, explain I'll do my best just leave a comment but for now I'd like to say thanks for watching